7.30. Yep. Penguin and I have been here since yep. 7.20. Yes, sir. Huh? What? It froze on you. What? Okay. I arrived promptly on time. You did. I am very proud of you. I was uh, very much killing things in the like, Oh, crap. It's time to play. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Better switch. I, I totally blame my dog for making me late. No, we know who's to blame. Dogs. She has her mic muted right now. The big dick energy. Why would I blame you? Don't wait. Don't waste it yet. <laughs> don't waste the big dick energy. <laughs> that's you put that back no matter in the what, jar. don't waste that big dick energy. That's don't waste. Why. That's gonna be the theme of the night. That's my secret. That secret cap. Oh, always big dick energy. <laughs> oh, welcome in, Gamoff. Hello. So you're muted. Uh, just so you know. Yeah. Uh, I now have an aura of, uh, of protection, which has been dubbed Big Dick Energy. So please give me a big, give me a big dick energy circle. Is it constantly on? It's on mm. all the time, as long as I'm conscious. All right, what's the size of it? <laughs> what's the size? Yeah, I don't hear you. <laughs> what size is the big dick? Ten feet. You're gonna kill someone with that. Ten feet circle. That's passing out from blood flow there. <laughs> there you go. You got your two. Cool, Camilla. Long uh, and then sometimes when when he's excited, it snows. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. There you go. You got your two circles now. Awesome. So if you're in the blue, you have big dick energy. <laughs> if you're if you're curious to what that means, you get a plus two to all your saving throws. And if you save because of that saving throw, you must say, I was saved by Big Dick Energy. <laughs> no, no, you gotta say, you're saved by K. Rule's Big Dick <laughs> That should energy. be the uh, YouTube make sure, title. Make sure there's a sufficient pause between dick and energy. Exactly. <laughs> you, say, you guys can say whatever you want, but make sure it has K. Rule, Big Dick, and energy somewhere. <laughs> not in that order either. It doesn't have to be in that order. It doesn't matter. As long as they're in the, the phrase, sentence, diatribe, I don't care. Cool. All right, so where do we leave off? <laughs> We're in a long hallway. Uh, we just... I was getting a lot of money. <laughs> X, is, X is rolling in bank dough. I'm just going to step out of this big dick energy real quick. Don't do that. Uh, I'm going to ride the big dick energy and just hop on Cable's shoulder. I don't really want it behind me, so... <laughs> Somehow, Hando has big dick energy. Oh my god, there's a hand in your big dick energy. That's <laughs> what keeps it running. The hand of the big dick energy keeps going. Oh my god. So, uh, we set the precedence for this, this, uh, this session. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm definitely going to change the title now. All right, continue, continue, Gamma. <laughs> All right. More big dick energy. Kicking As you baby. guys try, walk down the stairs, going from one level to another, you feel your fatigue washing away as you reflect back upon your experiences on the previous floor, leveling you all up from five to six. Which hopefully you have all done by now. Yes. Mm -hmm. I got worried that I didn't, but I did. <laughs> That's such continue. an X thing to say. My heart fell into my stomach for a second, but I'm okay, we're good. <laughs> And you just continue down as the hallway starts to open up a little bit more and the roof raises up to 20 feet as you enter, reach the bottom so and enter me, into a hallway. You tell me the roof's twice my big dick energy. 
I'm sorry, but you're gonna need a bigger dick. <laughs> I gotta wait till I'm 18. <laughs> uh, oh, you gotta you gotta reach puberty. You mean? Yes, that's when I that's when I mature into a <laughs> into a big a big man. Big dick boy. <laughs> that's all right. how I am right now. Hold on a second. Just a boy. I'm guessing you're looking into that ruined squid. Yeah, kind of walking down the hallway, looking around, seeing. You know, I guess I see down this little room. Peek all in. right. Uh, as you walk towards that room, you notice that it is littered with trash. Trash and debris all over the floor and along the walls. It's a buffet. <laughs> the walls adorned with bas reliefs that were once depicted uh, once depicted dwarves carrying supplies. The dwarves' faces have now been. Now been what? Now been what? I think you just got out. Now been what? Now now been what? That's how glorious they were being depicted as. <laughs> There, though he did say they were bass reliefs, and then they were something. Now they what? Now they were gone. They've been something. They died. They all the trash. All <laughs> is gone. They're the trash collectors. They didn't. Unmute. No. Unmute. Game off. Oh shit. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Cat, yeah. your ass has to move. I was going to say, it's probably the damn cat again. <laughs> Why can't yours behave like mine does? Because the only time that he, gets to, he really sees me is when I'm up here on the computer. He doesn't really the... come downstairs because of the dogs. Well, then you should go play with him some more. Yeah. I do, but he's a lazy bastard. Give him his own mute button. <laughs> it's true. He clearly yeah, just, just, yeah, just like a one, fake one of those button. big red buttons that says mute on the top. And I don't know why the camera doesn't work. My camera works on any other app I have, but it doesn't seem to work on this one. It's fine. All I see is the OBS logo, or is that the capture card? That's OBS. That Hold on, I'm going to try reconnecting to see if it works. Yeah, it's OBS. I don't know why you have OBS on. Then he needs I don't to set know his why, uh, video source as the camera. There. There. Recognizing the camera. There it is. There there it is. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, I don't know if OBS automatically comes on for you, but if you don't, if you turn roll twenty on first and then OBS, it'll pick up the uh, it'll pick up your camera just fine. Yeah. So this is what he does. <laughs> so he'll lay maybe, over the buttons. Maybe. Maybe you should get him his own keyboard to lay on. Maybe. Oh, yeah, the old dual keyboard. I used to do that the, magic. The, the, she loved it. All right, so what's uh, what's up with the, the dwarves over there? So uh, the dwarf bass reliefs, they, want, they were once dwarfs, but now their faces have been chipped away, and they have been replaced by cartoonishly drawn goblin heads. <laughs> and from the north, you're hearing a banging noise. Cheeks slapping? Uh... <laughs> uh, or like that repeatedly uh, I, I feel like we could sneak up on these guys because they're being so loud hey don't forget to bring our buddy down here too he's not so, getting away that easy do you want me to you know, yeah why don't you sneak in? over there dog yeah send in the squid oh, don't go. so I'm gonna stealthily move to where here alright Make a stealth roll. So stealthy. So stealthy. You are passing undetected. If you move any more, you're going to need to make another roll. That's fine. Uh, I guess one, two, three. So I should say, as you look out forwards, what you do see, give me a perception check. You notice what looks like a bazaar. Hmm. You see goblins hawking their wares to each other. And several of them dressed up like guards. Hmm. 
They well, think they're people. He thinks he's people. <laughs> I guess I could, uh... Cruel is over here wondering when the squid do... is going to come back and let us That's know what's... Just, do I need a stealth roll to come back or can I just come back? If you come back, you can just come back. If you move forward, you need a stealth again. Okay, I'll just come back. There's a, a goblin bazaar up there, guys. Like, tons of goblins, guards. But uh, they all look like they're having a good time selling shit. Sounds pretty bizarre. Did you, did you ah. see any magic scrolls? <laughs> did I see any what? Magic scrolls. magic scrolls for sale. Uh, I didn't go looking around because I didn't want to get attacked. Is anybody <laughs> a big goblin? They can go up there and say, hey, can you join your party? Yeah, does anybody speak goblin? The hand? Uh, I, I do. do. I do. We... X does. You're, just, you're just gonna go in there and eat everything. No, that's me. We'll be best friends. Just ask first. Yeah, just ask if you can eat everything. <laughs> Always ask before going to somebody else's fridge. True. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're I, stealthy. I... 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 I, I Telepath the X, Telepath the X and hey, ask, hey, can I ride on your shoulder for this? Hey, you're I echoing. You used to ride on my arm, and you left, so... You're echoing to X, too, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, we're echoing off each other. <laughs> the effect for what you were doing was pretty cool. Good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that would have been perfect if she didn't have a new hand, and he was just her hand. <laughs> Oh my god, that would be great. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Um, yeah, I can go talk to him. All right. It'll go well. I'm sure. I'm sure. I can oh, go for four hours. I'm gonna move. How, how far can I? How far can I move okay. without being uh, having to make a stealth check? Well, if we're gonna walk in and announce ourselves and talk, I don't think you really need to. You might just be able well. To I wanted her to go. I wanted her to go first. He wanted her to be the bait. I, well, I don't want to scare him with the giant. How many times am I gonna explain this? I'm a fucking seven foot lizard. If I go there, they're gonna feel threatened. They want to... I, I want. I want little X to go in there and be like, "Hey guys, can we I be can friends?" Go and I can do a performance of some sort. <laughs> Just show them what, what it is with your magical arm. So hit one of them with it, right? Is that what you're telling me? I'm, you not, I'm not telling you to do anything you don't want to do. <laughs> no, go, go in that there. That way you have... can't blame her. <laughs> yep. the, uh, hold the hand and the hand there we go. in your hand. All right. Um, you can pretty much move to about where that yellow mark is without needing to... But remember, you're a big ass lizard in plate mail with a two handed sword. That's why I'm you're not, not trying to move that close. That's what I was asking. Yeah. I think my character would move as far intelligently as like, he could move, and that's how far I want to move. But normally, you don't know that. You just move, and then you get told if you make a check or not. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you right. metagamer. I'm gonna. Well. I want to walk right up to here and like hide behind this wall while she goes in and talks to him. That's what she's going to do. Alright, I'm going to just waltz on up there. I, I guess. Should I stealth up there and then surprise them and say hi? I don't know if that would be good. I don't think scaring them is the right way to do that. <laughs> Not I, that scary. I do think that the hand of Zugby should go with you, though. Yes, yes. That, my hand I is am. coming with me. Yeah, have, have him dance. As okay. you guys are talking there, you hear a collapse from a... You, you hear a loud noise come from the area above, and then several of the goblins sound like they're yelling at each other. Uh, X, make a perception roll. Okay. Uh, where is that? Okay. There. Roll. You nice. hear them yelling at each other, and you're the one that understands Goblin, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. All right. Unfortunately. You hear them start yelling, and they go, You dumbass, that's not how you put that together! We're never going to get the stage done in time! Oh, they're building the stage! Those? They're the one who got defective materials. Well, now you know you have to put on a performance of your I have to go thing. put on a performance now, guys. <laughs> All right, I want to go up, and I want to 
play my flute and dance for them. No, oh, I want you guys to make shadow puppets with your hands. <laughs> that too. All right, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna play my flute. I can't do the dog. My fingers are broken. That's where you're going right now is not where the sound came from. Oh, wait, where did the sound come from? The sound came oh. from up this way. Oh, this up. Way then I'm going that way. Sound of people hawking their wares. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going straight up. I'm completely ruining the plan. <laughs> going this way. Guys, I'm I knew what I was getting way. into when I told you to go in there, so it's fine. <laughs> I'm going rogue. I'm going this way. Oh, you're right. no, you're going X. We get it. <laughs> do you want me to move you while you're uh, playing your? Flute? Yeah, can you do that? Because long hallways are difficult. That's fine. Um, so, what? Am I rolling performance or something else first? Yes, roll performance. Okay. Uh, I look at the rest of my party and I go. This is well, fine. That didn't go as planned. What should we do? <laughs> I just went the other way. You just, you start strolling up here, playing your flute, walking into it. As you walk into the room, seven goblins turn around. The three on the outside are all banging away, trying to repair this fallen stage. While the four in the center were hunched over a crudely drawn map. And they all just turn and look at you. And they just go like, what the hell is that? And ignore you and go right back to their map. I mean, to their drawing. Can I help you? Do you know how to build... Well, what language do you speak in? Goblin. All right. Do you know how to build a stage? Pretty sure. Thrust the map towards you. <laughs> oh, God. Tell this, and he points to the one at the, at the bottom down here, that you're supposed to be using a nail, not a screw. The other one slaps him in the head, and he goes, this nail will never hold against that weight. Why can't you use both? Make a persuasion check. I'm joining a new party. <laughs> and the four goblins go up to start helping the others, pointing to areas. One fist full of screws and the other fist full of nails. Um, hey, I, I have some friends. Uh, can they come up and maybe they can help too? They look and they say, we think we got enough bodies, but they can come and look if they want. Oh, okay. Wait, um, stop for a second. What are you doing here, anyway? I, I, I'm lost. We're looking for we're looking for these guys. Remember? I, I'm lost. <laughs> we can't stuff hey, 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 do you want to go he, get everybody? He points to the right and says, "If you're lost, you can try asking directions to the market. Maybe somebody can help you." Are they nice? Sure, kid. Okay. He goes uh, back to working. Now remember, uh, time is money. Okay. Hey, Hand, do you want to go get everybody? Um, sure. Okay, thanks. You just see the Hand walk out and you just on two <laughs> fingers just... I don't remember what we're doing. I need help. It's fine. She needs an adult. I need an adult. <laughs> Look, X is like only 10 years old. This is rough. <laughs> she just wants to play her flute and eat food. She sounds like a she sounds like a ten year old actually. <laughs> X has been very sheltered. Uh, so I'm assuming that the handhold is what Does was up. The shelter? I'm I'm looking at the hand like, what's that, Lassie? You want us to follow you? <laughs> <laughs> what? Did Xy fall down the well? <laughs> yes. Did X fall down the well? <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll start walking this way because I'm assuming you keep playing. Yeah, I'm assuming everything's kosher. At least that's what we figured we got into, so. Oh, hot dogs. 
Hey, X, how's everything going down here? Wait, can you all hear Zugby? We can hear him through yours, yeah. Uh, I basically said, well, X uh, completely forgot what was going on. Uh, and found herself on stage, and now she wants us to help him build it so she can perform. So you see the goblins. The thing is, between the seven goblins, the only tools they have are stone hammers. So they're using the hammer to apply both the nails and the screws to try to put together this crude stage. Um... It's going well. Um, I, I would like to offer one of my 50-foot hemp rope to a goblin and be like, here, this might help hold it together once you're got it standing. Do you want me to tell them that? Yes. Okay. Did you, well, did you try talking to him in common? I did. He walks over, pulls out his hand for the rope. There you go. Take this. Thank you, lizard. And common, and walks back. I guess that worked. Cool. I'm useless. I guess they speak, think, speak common. Hey, do the other goblins speak common too? Um, none of the others react because they are so focused on uh, building their stage. What are you guys gonna do with this stage? It's for uh, um, the one that took the rope. It hands it off to the other goblins. And comes back and says, Yek the Tall wanted us to build this. Don't know why yet. Oh. But Who's that? Yek the Tall? It's the Tall Goblin. Ah. It's the way our political system works. We're height based. Gotcha. Building a stage. Okay. Got into my notes. By notes, I mean my brain. That's where I take all my notes. <laughs> um, I didn't write the notes down for who uh, the zombie guy was looking for. I forgot to do that. <clears throat> for the people because it was like because it was like at the end. It, 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 he got betrayed by his party and murdered. I know. I was so, trying to give them a, a a description. Maybe they've seen him. Oh. He points uh, roughly to the east. I know there was a dwarf and a lady. No, the, the, the guy points to the east and goes, I feel him this way. Through oh, the walls, you didn't, see him pointing. I go, hey man, you didn't tell us you had that power. You could be leading us the way. Hook a lizard up. You know the way. <laughs> he goes, fine, follow me. I, I mean, we don't have to go there right this second. Let's go to this oh, shoppy God. town area and then we'll, and then we'll go. Um, as you walk into this room, Squid, yes. you notice a goblin bound in chains. Huh. Uh, <laughs> so I, walk, I, walk, I walk back out. Iron and... giblets hanging from chains hooked to a 10 foot high ceiling. The single, well, one of them, though, has a crying goblin in it. Chains, goblins, one guy chained up. Right? Crying. Cool. I'm going to ignore them and go with you. <laughs> 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 I'm so hungry. No, yeah, I don't care about today. that. That's rough. Yes. All right, which way was, which way was the town? It was down here. Are yeah. we upstairs? You're talking about the Where? bazaar, right? So, have... yeah. But aren't we upstairs? So, yeah, I I'm just think? walking past and going in here. If we're not upstairs. Uh, according to the map, upstairs. it looks like we've gone down? No, we, we're on the same floor. He said it was upstairs! What's upstairs? No, you, uh, this is a dungeon that goes down. Oh, down, okay. No, so, but you, know, you said upstairs. that... That some you said upstairs. It sounded like somebody dropped something. Oh, I meant up the map. Up Mine there, is... like up yeah. there. Oh, then north. Cool. I, I meant north, now. and I said up because of the map. 
Oh. All right. So as you see, you into this. Do, 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 do. X, make sure you're in front. Tell him we know the guy. Oh, oh. okay. Inside this room, there's a soaring 60 foot high ceiling supported by two rolls of stone pillars. In the middle of the chamber is taken up by eight stalls. Like board pies? No, yes. like um, <laughs> sails. No. That stall. There, you see a total of 22 goblins sitting in here, settling and harking their wares, as well as guards posted at the different entrances. Jenna, uh, I would like to walk over. Is this like a sale spot? Is that what you're saying? The little square? Yep. Can I ask him what he's selling? What is this guy? Hey, man, what you selling? <laughs> he shows you a um, an assortment of different weapons and armors. All of them look like your basic adventurer's armors, but they're in good condition. Hmm. Does anybody need anything? I don't think we have enough uh, money to buy things. anything, honestly. Oh. I got about 400 gold in my pocket. What else is being sold? Or do I have to go up to everybody? You're doing what to everybody? Do I have to go up to everybody to find out what's being sold, or can I just look around and see? You you can look around and see. Okay. Pretty much all the vendors are selling the stuff. There's one person that's selling grubs. Yes. The food doesn't look too high of a quality, but they're all harking out. It's probably good by goblin standards, but most of you will probably need a constitution check to eat it. Ugh. Ugh. Are there any like, health potions or any potions? Potion shops. Um, this goblin down here has potions. You know, K rule. Did you need some? Uh, I currently have. I have two. I have did you? Two, and I have. Did you take out the two that you gave me? I did. Okay. So I had. I had four. Okay, that's all. I, I thought you didn't have any more. That's why I was asking. No, I have one big one still that I'm holding on to for super emergencies. Gotcha. Okay. Well, if we're not interested in this room, I guess. Uh... Uh, I would like to ask one of them why they're why that one goblin's chained up. All right. Which one are you asking? Uh, is this a guard? This guy right here? Yeah. Yes, he is. I'll ask him. I go, uh, evening, chap. Um, do you speak goblin? No, I do not. We're going, <laughs> going on, we're going, we're going on this wild. Um, just curious, uh, there was a, there was a goblin type person chained up in the other room there. Is there a specific reason why? He looks at you and starts speaking. Uh, hey X, this guy don't speak uh, common. Uh, can you help me out? Sure. What are you asking him? Uh, ask him why that why the goblins uh, enchained. Okay. Why why uh, why you got that goblin Lynn in the chair all chained up and starving? Gloom. Gloom there decided to try Gloom? To... Yeah, gloom. There's a little there's a little there's a little dots above that O. <laughs> he tried to steal food from Oh my god, which one is it? What did you do? It don't matter. He just tried he to steal tried food. To steal food from Yek the tall. <sighs> oh, he Ooh. tried to steal food from the tall guy. Oh, so he tried to steal food from the boss. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Apparently, there for all we care, good boss to know. can't spare any food. Good to know. So. Okay, he's the tall one. He's hungry. Uh, now, can you ask him if he's seen a dwarf, a lady, and another guy? There was like it was like a tr it was a troop. Okay, have you seen a troop of dwarves, a lady, and another guy? A troop of dwarves. 
Yeah, we do have one dwarf. Alright, there's one he dwarf. Points, he points towards the door right over here. He said, Bastard tried killing some of our guards. We overwhelmed him. Oh, <laughs> did you kill him? Oh, worse. We what? shaved him. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually funny. So uh, they shaved him. Okay, ask him if we can talk to him. Can we talk to the dwarf? He grumbles for a second and goes, That'll depend on Yek. Uh, okay, where's where's Yek? Yek. Who's he Yek? Point down to this room over there. Okay, there's some Yek down there in that room. All right, I go, show you. I go, thanks, buddy. And I toss him a and silver. He, he yells for a second. He goes, Guards, to me. Oh, and no. He gives you a little hand signal to follow him down here. As several of the other guards move in behind you. It's going well, guys. I think it's going okay. It's going <laughs> so well. But I look around and I give everybody the old winky poo. <laughs> He's here. I feel him. <laughs> Halleck goes, I feel the bastard. He took out my knees. <laughs> I go, uh, I forget, I forget what the guy's name is, but I go, hey, look, don't, don't be too hasty when we get in there. Let's try and solve this diplomatically, because I don't know if you've noticed that there's a lot of goblins around here. He looks at you and goes, I'm already dead. What are they going to do to me? Well, the rest of us aren't. And us dying wasn't part of the deal. That's true. We have a nice <laughs> benefit package in the afterlife. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I signal to the, the main goblin that I was talking to, and I say, hey, please show us into the door. Can we go in? <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> this is why we keep you around. Interpreter. Okay, so as you walk in... To the room, you see... In the corner, s several bugbears working as bodyguards. Nice. And Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. So where do you look first? Do you look south or north? Uh, I, I guess I look s south. Okay. Halif, it's glaring to the south. In the south, in the corner, uh, in the floor, you see a beardless dwarf. <laughs> Sitting in the corner, tied up. I go, hey, uh, I go, hey, dead guy, is that the guy? He, you hear, you can actually feel the temperature around you growing colder, and the hatred radiating from him as his eyes start to glow red looking at the door. And I go, hey, calm down, I'm the only one big dick energy around here. That's true. <laughs> All right. Now I look. Now I look. Look, you might be able to do that. Let's just talk. Let's just talk at a yakety yak. Okay. And then maybe we to can come top. back. Uh, and up top, you see a handsome man with a golden circlet on his brow. Brow reclined on a mound of. I bet you it's not as pretty as uh, uh, Ganondorf's golden circle. Multiple crowns. I've got three. That's right. Uh, I'm gonna and walk... that one's going to be on my head next. The uh. ten goblins <laughs> all sitting around him are all uh, leaning on moldy cushions. Um, okay. He sits just eating an apple. I'm going to walk up to him. I do a little wave at all the little goblin guys. I'm like, hey, how you, how you doing? What's up? I go, uh, excuse me, sir. Um, the bugbears you see start to get on guard a bit as you approach them. I go, hey, 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 no hostility here. We're friends. It's all good. My sword has been sheathed. The glow around me is my big dick energy. Don't worry about <laughs> it. Two more to of those fair, jokes there today. There's so many glows on here that I can't freaking tell <laughs> who's what. I'm going to send you guys a quick image just to show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> because you know about how you can see your aura? Yeah. 
I see everyone's aura. <laughs> at once. So you see everybody's big dick energy. Yeah. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, <coughs> the warthog has the biggest dick here. All right, Yek pauses from the apple for a second and looks. He goes... Uh, I, I take my right hand. I I want to I want to pick up X a little bit because I he's sitting in front of like a I assume he's sitting in front of a desk, right? Huh? Oh, he's sitting on a pa- uh, mound of pillows. So oh, think of like okay. Well then, uh, never mind. I don't need to pick. We got the emperor's yeah. pillow thrones. He's like that with an apple. All right, uh, I don't I don't need to pick X up then because I was gonna I was gonna hoist her up. <laughs> <laughs> so she could see him. <laughs> Never mind. I then I take my right hand that I was going to use to pick her up, give her a little patty pat on the head, head, and go translate. Sure. Hey, buddy, what's up? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I wanted you to translate what he said so I could say something. I don't know what he said yet. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <coughs> God damn it. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to know. I terribly said to you guys, we are definitely going to die. <sighs> no, I just, I, when when Gamoff gets back, I want you to ask him what's up with what the dwarf. What he said. What's up with the old dad and what's up with the dwarf. Got it. And then you want me to perform. If you want to perform, you can do whatever you want. Tell. Why don't you try and convince him that you have an, you have, you can go up on stage. Whenever he's doing whatever they do. All right, I got it. I'm, I'm about to look around for something to steal, so we're definitely gonna end up in a fight. <laughs> That's so right. many bad guys. Well, you guys better bring out your AOE. I think Gamoff broke because he tried to put all the all the big dick energy into the Discord. It was just channeling too much. <laughs> So, Empress, you're looking like you're straight thug tonight. I like it. If you do, do oh no! Like pull it down and cut some holes in it. Straight ski mask, yo. He even Gamoff? lost the ability to speak in English. Oh no! Gamoff <laughs> said that his house lost power. Oh shit! Oh jeez! Well, I got a backup DM is gonna have to take over, guys. <laughs> house lost power. I think he should just let. I think he should just give me the ability to take over when I need to. Power is back. I'm waiting on the internet. Power is back. Man, his cat really does not want him to play. <laughs> I was going to say that's a touch right there. <laughs> so, uh, what are we hoping the outcome of this dwarf thing is? Do we hope that they're going to let him let us take them? That's what I. That's what I think we should do. Can we just buy him, like, so we can kill him? Or... What's ultimately the thing here? Well, I, I, hey, I'm open to suggestions from the rest of you. I'm just kind of leading us around like I normally do. You guys I are... just want that crown. I don't care what happens. But that crown's going to be mine by the end of the night. <laughs> so we have to fight 36 goblins. <laughs> I mean, then we get all the loot for free. That's true. They do we'll all be dead. One of the two. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably say it's the latter. <laughs> we don't know if these... Uh... We don't know if these ones are stronger than the ones we just kicked ass at. I could try a sleight of hand to take it off of his head. No, I definitely want to eat him for it. <laughs> you know, Torvor, if we had if we had Aeon in here, I'm, I'm pretty sure she could flirt with him as her old form. That's true. Grab some uh, some some kitty tail on things. Hey, it worked once. Ah, uh, yes, we found the furry fetish. <laughs> that's what kind of that's what kind of D and D game you're gonna do. Trying to trying to win over everybody with six. I mean, that's why they made this game, right? I think so. Dick and dick. So yeah, we need to find out why he has a dwarf captive. 
So or somebody uh, tried to steal, or he killed somebody. That's what it was. Yeah. He no, he tried to steal food from the tall one. <laughs> no, that was the other one. No, that was the other guy. So we need to figure out if we can take him off of his hands, since our our dead friend wants to kill him. But first, or just ask if they plan on killing him, then maybe the, the vampire. Maybe guy yeah, maybe that'll suffice him. But we do need to get out of the dwarf where the other two are. Wasn't uh, what's his face just gonna lead us to him? Like he said, he can sense him or something. Well, I'm not sure if he can just sense the dwarf or if he can sense all of them. Oh, in Sarah, it doesn't seem like we noticed him having much of a reaction to this dude. Yeah, he's he's getting angry, but not. But like... he was angry at the dwarf, not this dude. What? It seemed like that was my impression because he specifically reacted to the dwarf. <laughs> Yeah, he's upset at the door. Yeah. I don't think he cares about yet the door. Yeah, I don't think so. Nah, he just wants to avenge. That seems to be his only driving factor here. Simple minded fool. Oh, he is dead. What was I mean, this... it's better than him just yelling brains. <laughs> what was this guy going to give us for taking him to kill his friends? Or... Uh, you know what? I completely fucking forgot. I was like, was he giving us something, or were we just not having to fight him? Or I can, uh, I can figure it out. Though. I was gonna say we may have negotiated so we didn't have to fight him by helping I... him get vengeance. Yeah, that was part of it. Because I know I talked him out of that. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. hey, come on now, scamp. We can do this the old-fashioned way. Uh, what do you think we should do there, the hand of Zugby? Um, you want me to mute? I'll mute. Excellent. Now they're all muted. <laughs> <laughs> We're seeing if his works. Fantastic. It got quieter. <laughs> I do like your head, your headset though. I like how it lights up. It's dope. I could have got that for my headphones, but it was extra money that I didn't want to spend just just for it to light up like the rest of my setup. <laughs> you don't need it anything to light it up. Your your face is so pale anyway; it sticks out. We already know where your head is. <laughs> Um, it does look yeah, like you're just yeah. a floating head right now because everything is so dark. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think about that tonight when I because I went out with my mom and I was like wearing a coat that wasn't black, um, and then I didn't think about it. <laughs> so just call me nearly headless anima. Got it. All right, can you guys hear me? As long as this guy doesn't we can start hear anything, yeah, we can okay. hear you. and he gives us a crown, I we should be able to get the dwarf and get out of here. Yeah, so uh, my house just lost power. It's fine. You have to stop blaming your cat. <laughs> just come on, Gamma. Just be honest. We know you don't want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming. All right. So you guys are talking to Yak. Okay. What did what did Yak say? Yak say whatever. Oh, I was I was under the impression that he was. I thought a, a goblin said something. I thought he was under. I was under the impression he was a goblin. He's a noble I dude. He's a human. I think he's a human. That's why you said he was handsome. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, he's also handsome. tall. He's a handsome human with a golden circlet on his head. Do I understand handsome what he said? Is... Yeah. Then why did he talk in goblin? He speaks goblin. That's a thing. But I fuck? speak what common. Is, you can't just ask someone why they speak goblin. <laughs> Try Becky. <laughs> <laughs> he's, the, he's the goblin leader, Yek the Tall. He speaks goblin. So what did Yek say? I I, I go. Uh, did you, I can poorly translate it for next. <laughs> what did you ask? Um, what are we What are we asking him? We already went over this. Cut off. Not you, so, Gamoff. I was talking to X. We want to know why. Like, if we why do you have the dwarf there, and can we persuade you to leave him to us? We want the dwarf. 
I want your crown. <laughs> and the crown. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the dwarf and the crown and no one gets hurt. No, no, <laughs> but they're more polite. The royal crown. <laughs> and the royal dwarf. The dwarf royal? I don't know. Why don't you guys ask for something cool like his fucking pimp cane? Can I have a pillow? I the dwarf, but I'm a bit insulted that you think you can get the crown. Can I have a pillow? I didn't say I think I can get the crown. I, I said I like wanted it. How did you come to be the king of these goblins? How'd you become the king of all these guys? Please tell me this. This is the goblin. This, the tell me this is the goblin king that I want it to be. Um, he's the boss. That's why he's the king. I brought you a gift. I'm the tallest goblin. You're not a goblin. Was this dude raised by goblins? Goblin? Is this he's guy's backstory is that he was raised by goblins, so he thinks. Do you he's a think goblin? you're a goblin? He uh, he points to the crown and he said, "This made me the tallest goblin." It didn't. You're not you're a just, goblin. You're just a human. You're a tall human. Actually, you're average. Can you change human. his name to Jareth? <laughs> what do you do as the king of the goblins? We're totally gonna like piss this guy off. We're gonna get murdered. Do you, are there perks? <laughs> Do you get benefits like dental? Thank I you. I noticed you're the only one with non moldy food or something like that. He's now like, I know why that goblin stole from you. He's like, well, I'm the boss. They all listen to me. I also want you guys to know this is the second time we made a labyrinth joke in one of these streams. <laughs> I That's run. Amazing. Big bizarre. So we can have the dwarf, right? What do you offer for the dwarf? I won't tell everybody you're not a goblin. <laughs> I, I noticed that they're. <laughs> That's the way to go. I would. Can I make a perception check or something so I can figure out what these, like maybe I can visually like see what they're, what's going on or something. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can figure out what they're doing. Nope. You're trying to convince us nope. that he's a goblin. I'll do a perception check. You I can mind sorry. link. You should already know, dummy. <laughs> um, what do you want in exchange for this dwarf? I guess what do you have to offer? Don't I don't know. Anything. What do you want? <laughs> I'll get you more pillows. He sighs. <laughs> Go and come back when you have something worthwhile. Oh! Guys, he wants something like really expensive, I think. Ask him if you Guys. can ask him if you can do a performance in his whatever his theater thing he's doing. Oh, yes. Can I do a performance for you that would be so amazing? Would that would that suffice? That we would get the dwarf. He strokes his magnificent beard and goes That's Dance for me. Sure. <laughs> is, is he gonna start shooting the ground too? Dance, dance. Let's see what you perform it. Oh shit! <laughs> Holy shit! I just start dancing. No, nah, you don't just start dancing. You just X, X starts break off. dancing. No. X starts break dancing. Like puts the cardboard down and just goes goes for it. D Rock, I want you to move that camera over slightly, and I better see you fucking dancing, buffering. No. <laughs> As this is going on. Just, X, just do X like a little bit. Just, 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 just a little bit of a shake. There you go. Dancing. That works. And so all the goblins get up and just start clapping with it. As she puts on her little performance. And she ends. Hey, guess what? X gave it to you. <laughs> At this point, X is convincing you to give it to her. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you, floating head anima. <laughs> All right. He steps forward. I'm not free. My performances cost one hairless dwarf. He steps forward and puts a hand on it. He goes, uh, yeah. and then Goblin, he says, you are the prettiest goblin I have ever seen. Oh my god, this dude is delusional. I'm not comfortable anymore. 
I say in common. I'm not comfortable anymore. <laughs> you all may have the dwarf. He will be your responsibility now. Guys, we got yeah, the dwarf. You can stay with me. And I think I need to stay a hundred feet away from this guy. I'll <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually ask you if you want me to turn you invisible. <laughs> he directs you towards the pillows. Should you wish to stay with us? No. <laughs> I, no. I, I, you gotta I do. You gotta do it like a regular, like a really party. weird, flirty guy would come at you like drunkenly at a bar. You gotta just knock him off. We have his Alex. pedestal like a little bit. I move up to. to Can to I Zegu. sleight of hand steal an apple from him though, while he's this close to me? The he's literally are... offering them to you. Exactly. No, I, <laughs> I want to steal them. I don't want. You're not even gonna steal it. He's gonna be. I'm like, sorry. Do you hear what he's saying? I'm not taking the one he's handing me. It might be a poison <laughs> apple. He's using his hand to like brush your brow. Yeah, I'm stealing well, anything out of his pocket. The apples on his pillow fort. <laughs> I, so, I want to steal the crown off his head. So, <laughs> I, I, slow, I, I whisper to, to you that I'd like you to steal the crown for me. Okay, I'm going to steal the crown. I, 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 I want to steal the crown off his head. Now it's getting funny. Sleight of hand. I'm gonna. <laughs> you're just, a, you're like shorter than him and you're just like, As he was leaning forward to get a better you look at your, uh, at your graceful features, you're oh, able God. to leap up and rip the crown off of his head. Not steal. <laughs> rip. Uh, I think he noticed. As his crown comes off, you hear him give off a little shriek as he stands up and then slowly starts to shrink. Returning to the form oh. of a goblin. Oh, fuck. Hmm. You, I don't think you want this crown anymore. <laughs> what have you done? Maybe you should put it on. Me? The other goblins all look confused. He goes, Attack! They have assaulted uh, the king! I, I'm gonna... I'm gonna put the crown on. Roll for initiative. <laughs> No, I would put the crown on first. I would have put the crown on. You can put on the crown. <laughs> it's not going to do anything for me. Well, if I didn't know that, I would have tried to steal some stuff. Well, you should have tried first. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. I didn't my know that's friend... what it would do. Oh, <laughs> my, oh you no, didn't know stealing his awesome. fucking crown. <laughs> I, I, to be fair, I was going to have a much larger plan for Zugby. Um, but yeah. I, I would, oh, well. Give me a second to build this encounter. I need to figure out how many people are fighting you. <laughs> I was hoping they'd all turn on him because he's no longer tall. No, he was their boss beforehand. Yeah, I, I assume. How did he turn into a human? What did he do to X? Did he do anything to X? Guess what? X, you're now a tall, la a tall lady. But what clothes were you wearing beforehand? So, I had pants on as a turban. You just hulked so out. That's all you're She's wearing naked. right now. She's you're naked! You turned into a five-foot-tall blonde woman with pants on her head and nothing else. <laughs> well. Fine. well. <laughs> Damn! Well, she just texted me and he's all like, if you wear the crown, maybe you'll turn into the real Ganon. And now I'm actually oh. sad. <laughs> well, wow. I still have the, we still have the crown. We haven't lost it. That's fucked up, Wells. Do I, do I still have my fake hand? One, two, three, four, five. You should. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Technically, and you're wearing 11, your hand 13, 14, 14, and your hat. 17, then I'm good. 18 goblins. Oh, is that all? Oh, this no, that's on top of everything else. This is fine. <laughs> we will be okay. It's fine. Oh, I, I suppose I should roll for initiative. It's yeah, sorry, be... I'm still making the encounter. <laughs> it's fine. I was hoping to not have an encounter yet. <laughs> at least we got you a put... shape... At least we got a shape-changing crown out of it. We yeah. become a human. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if we survive. <laughs> exactly. Thank oh you, Squiddy. Thank you, Squiddy. And now Squiddy. he just said, if Zugby wears the crown, he'll become Master Ham. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. 
That's fucking great. <laughs> oh my god, please give him the... the again? What was he... What was that creature? Big B Zugby. <laughs> this giant hand just walking around, picking things up and throwing them over the edge. Yes. Let's no, fucking do it. No, the most it. important part is when he goes... <laughs> <laughs> or he does his... Oh, oh my god. Five be... just like shooting the gun. Boom, boom, boom. More importantly, what happens if you just smack somebody? <laughs> Slams them into a wall. They become one with the wall. That would be amazing. Uh, before we get started in combat, I would like our two AoE readers to make sure they AoE something. I. Yeah. Wish that's, I could. That's why I started two. Okay, time to run the encounter. One's a naked blonde woman. <laughs> so let's see. K roll two. Yeah, I did not Remember. roll. I did not roll good. Zugby, <laughs> 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 if you did wear the crown and became the master hand, you'd learn a new move called Kingly Pimp Slap. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, can you not hit the negative key? People can't have a negative initiative. What are you talking about? The cat rolled onto my keypad. <laughs> and gave you a negative two initiative. Cat's really trying to fuck us over, man. I think we found the real BBEG. Yes. <laughs> I'm still laughing at Master Hand. That's, All right. That's good, Will. First up is Squid. Okay. Fuck him up. Just just walk by on this guy. Also, rip K rule in that that initiative rule. Yeah, big rip. Is, is this uh? Big dick energy wasn't enough. Nope. Is this guy not facing me because he got yelled at by everybody else? What do you mean? Well, I see a sneak attack. Can I make a, a the goblin? What's that? The goblin. Yeah. 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 The the goblin's not facing you. Okay. So I can sneak attack him. Yeah. I don't know what not facing you has to do with sneak attacking, but or, or because they can't be looking at him. If I'm if, have... if I'm standing behind him, do I? Can I just like? I'm just gonna attack him. Fuck it. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in this like, situation, he, it... he's not gonna he's not gonna block or anything. So I just didn't feel like a better attack or whatever. So you get the sneak attack because he's flat footed because he hasn't acted yet. Ah. Being behind him doesn't matter. Gotcha. But you miss with your rapier. Make your second swing. Well, I must have broken this one. Nope, the dagger hits. Woo! And that you can roll with a sneak attack damage. Nice. So you do a total of 11 damage, killing the first goblin. Good job, buddy. You cut the back of him, the back of his neck open. Sweet. Um, yeah. With that, Bugbear A takes his turn after hearing uh, Jareth the not-so-tall. I brought you a gift. Yell. He runs towards and takes a swing at X. Oh, no. Swinging once at, with Adam with the Morning Star, but missing him because of his short stature. Nizar, it is your turn. I will uh, cast an Eldritch Blast at that that bugbear. I hear you running to the bathroom real quick. If I'm not back, just put me at the back of the initiative. Oof. All right, a both hit. You're, I'm guessing you're doing the closest bugbear. All right, that bugbear. Yes. So, first one misses, but as he dodges the first one, the second one lands at him with a crit. Roll your damage, dealing twenty points of damage. Okay. 
Okay. Nice shot, buddy. Is that Thank you. Zugby is your turn? Okay. I'm going to do Elvish Blast as well. Okay. Okay. On the no, you rolled your two and both missed. You're still getting used to being just a hand. Your dimensions are off. Yeah. With that, the big bear takes its turn, runs over, and it's going to swing also at X. It does not appreciate the crown being taken off. <laughs> but miss it. You are a slippery bastard. Yup. <laughs> With that is the Revenant's turn, who does not care about these goblins at all. Yeah, I Goes figured, I figured that was going to happen. Up towards Copper Storm Forge. And it swings twice at him. Good God. <laughs> Both striking. <laughs> kill him in one shot completely <laughs> obliterating the dwarf you see the life get sucked out of him leaving a dried husk well there goes my plan <laughs> revenge I look over and I go I was going to use him to help us with the fight and then get information out of him but revenge is cool, too. <laughs> he looks back and he says, My price shall be paid. <laughs> Fucking damn it. The bu this bugbear runs up here, and he continues wanting to help. They are all after this little lizard. Put this one on the other hand. Hits. Nailing. Oh my gosh. What did yeah. I ever do to you? <laughs> Alright. How, how dead am I? Okay, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it hits dick. Uh, blah. 14, yeah. Why did it, it doesn't, why did it do 14? It didn't do 14. Yeah, it did 8 or 6. The javelin's 2. The 8 is if it's in melee range. Oh. The 6 if it is if it's at uh, range. Yeah, so... Got it. Yeah, but you're bad. okay. <laughs> they do have this. Just tell me how hurt I am. <laughs> 12 <laughs> points worth of damage. That's too oh, much better than 14. <laughs> yeah. As the spear sinks into your... Sh that it hits into your shoulder. This is fine. It would be the dwarf's turn, but he got hit for four times his hit points. Yep, that's so what happened. That, that, there, there's not even a... There's no death saves for that. <laughs> this bugbear comes up and also tosses a javelin. Ooh. Hitting... Oh. A total of 22 points of damage. Oh, no. <laughs> so, uh, X. I guess now the goblins inside are starting to react with mixed emotions. They start. Two, three, four. So all the goblins inside the chamber, some of them start trying to run away. But yeah, you run the ones away. that were close enough to notice Squid kill their friend 
have all decided to try to attack him. Uh, I just want to be uh, very vocal about this. I'm glad for once not coming along after me. Hey, they didn't see me doing that. They were all focused forward. <laughs> they did hear the screaming. There's no screaming. I'm very stealthy. That was. The... I mean, like no, that no. was. That was the dwarf that got check. that got fucking I was smashed. A check. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. They did not notice you kill him. Wow. Oh. Nice. Good job, good job, buddy. But they do. They did notice. Uh, let me give another stealth check for something. Do, 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 do. Revenant, revenant, revenant. I don't know that he was very stealthy about it. <laughs> yeah, no, he wasn't. They did notice him and have gone after the revenant instead. For killing the dwarf. <clears throat> they also think that he's responsible for the death of the goblin as he's standing next to its corpse. <laughs> Landing one short bow against him. Seven points of piercing damage. Your foe, uh, your specter friend, doesn't even look like he's been phased. <laughs> okay. Uh, to do, to do with that, the goblins' turns are over, and it's Ginnendorf's turn. Perfect timing. <laughs> she she went. Who's to, alive? She went to change her shirt so she didn't look like a head. <laughs> There's that, but also I went to get ice cream. <laughs> um, who's alive? Everybody? Nobody? Um, so far, they haven't killed anyone. So nope, they killed one goblin, and the dwarf has been brutally exploded by the revenant. Yeah. Cool. Well, actually, he's turned into a husk. <laughs> he's just cool. there. Uh, we're gonna go with... Cat, don't open windows. We're gonna do Mind Sliver against this one here. Uh, Jareth the Not So Tall? Uh. Is that who this is? The one I'm clicking on? That's Jareth? Oh no, that's just a goblin. Alright, I'm doing it against that one. Okay. And Intelligence Save. You ever see... Okay, your mind sliver hits and he starts bleeding from the ears as he falls down. <laughs> oh no, that's such a shame. With that, it's Jareth's turn. And he yells, Give me my... Get back! <laughs> Swinging. You're too short. Can't reach it. <laughs> Swinging wildly at X, but not landing a blow. <laughs> Woo. With that, the goblin guards come in. Oh, God. Or at least start coming in. With that, it's X turn. Oh, I finally get to go. <laughs> I'm gonna... Can I hurt myself with Shatter? You... Uh, friendly Fire is on. Okay. And I'm... Guess Friendly Fire would include me, too. That's fine. <laughs> um... You might be able to Shatter in the doorway. Yeah, this isn't an Overwatch. This is a Town Clancy. Hmm. Okay, I don't want to hang Let's see. This is an Overwatch. This is watching camera simulator. Yes. 
All right, I'm gonna shatter. If I run away, they're all gonna hit me again. I assume. Yeah, if you move anywhere, you're gonna get you're gonna get smacked. Yeah. All right, I'll do shatter. Did you take off the twenty-two points of damage from the other spear? Uh, probably not. <laughs> all right, so I was gonna say you're missing. There we go. I did it. Yeah. <laughs> Success. I I should get in my one hit before I die. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do shatter. Do it here. I don't hit it. Right yeah, there. Draw your shatter box. There we go. All right, so and that hits how far? Ten. So it's going to hit. Those four guys. Will it hit the one outside the door? This is what I'm seeing it hits, Yes. Correct? Yeah. Alright, it will only hit that one that it has the direct line of sight of. So that one. It will not hit this one. That's fine. That's At least that's fine. how I view it. Yeah, no, that makes sense. That's what I was wondering. Alright, so cast your shatter. Earth shatter. One, two, three, Ready to go. four. Four goblin saves. Bring me another. And a bugbear save. Alright. So, two of the goblins cease to be. She shattered them. To another dimension, she Thanos the fuck out of them. <laughs> Two others seem to have had their eardrums ruptured, but are still standing. The bugbear looks barely phased at the loud noises. It's used to the incessant chattering of goblins. He looks bug barely phased. Yep. Mm. All right, and with that, it is K. Rule's turn. Oh my God! Finally, I get to do something. The question is, what would I like to do first? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast this on X. Okay. So X, you have plus two AC. You're welcome. Nice. You're welcome. Hopefully, that's yeah. helpful. Hopefully, that'll help. Uh, so I have a question. Yes. Uh, can I move, attack, and then move and attack again? Yes. Awesome. As long as you don't move your use your entire movement. It's different than Pathfinder. Okay. Um. Does he? Is this a fighter skill? The double attack. A fighters get it at level five, and paladins get it at level five. A lot of classes get it at level five. Yeah. It's the so, same skill though, right? Yes, multi attack. Yeah. yeah. Um. From what I understand, you actually cannot move between attacks. Really? You can move and then attack and then attack again, but you can't move between attacks. Okay, so if I move to, like, here, I can hit this one and then that one. If nope. I, do, 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 if I choose. I just want some oh, player apparently handbook. I'm wrong. Yep, player handbook, page 190. Bro, then, you know, my, my fucking... All right, James, so watch it. Finder, you and I are going to talk about that, James. <laughs> yeah, uh, I took a look. If you take an action that includes more than one weapon attack, you can break up your movements even further by moving between those attacks. Okay. Now, the thing is, yeah, yeah, so you can do that, but you have one pool of movement. You can only move a total of 30. Oh, I know. All right, I'm going to move right here. I'm going to mm -hmm. swing at this guy. Okay. You hit. I'm going to move here. I'm going to swing at this guy. Uh, you hit? Uh, yeah, I know I hit. <laughs> All right. There turn, are turn ended. 
And with that, it returns to Squid's turn. Alright. Trying to help out the, mo the best I can with my lack of AoE skills. Yeah, Ganondorf, you should be a five fighter by now, aren't you? Or did you no. take another sorcerer? I'd only be a four fighter if I di even if I did. Oh, did you have two sorcerer? Yep. Okay. Yeah, but when you hit five fighter, you get the same thing. Now, here's the thing. You have something like a green blade, a green blade attack or whatever it is. That doesn't work with multi-attack. So you either can swing twice or do that effect. Okay? No, oh, that's sneaky. Well, because the the spell says that you take an attack with the effect. Not, uh, whereas the other one is the attack action. It's a little bit different. Oh, I gotcha. Because so. technically it's, it's a spell, and multi-attack doesn't work on spells. Correct. It would be... It would start to get kind of crazy, and it would make some builds... A little bit too powerful if they could add that extra to every swing. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that makes sense. And it has an almost next to no effect on most casters because they don't get multi attacks. Okay, but with that, Squid, what do you want to do? Alright, uh, one second. All right, I guess I'm going to move to this guy and attack him. Yeah. You miss. Okay. Say what? I mean, he did 12. Say what? <laughs> and you land a critical. With sneak attack, because you have uh, the wraith next to you. Yeah. Can I do this? And then... If you click on dagger right there, it should automatically... Okay. So will you click on it this way? I think... No, it didn't. Okay, well, whatever. You did your four for your dagger, so eight, and now sneak attack. I don't believe sneak attack damage can crit, can it? I don't know. I, you know what? They have seven health. He dies. And can I... Um, sneak attack damage. You can target a second creature within 30 feet and first three completes. I was going to use Wales from the Grave, but... You can still use it. Uh, I guess I'll target... That guy right there. All right, how much damage does it do? Um, I don't know. So roll your sneak attack, and we'll take half of it. Causes the other uh, goblin to die of a heart attack. Sweet. As your attack takes out two goblins. Okay, I'm good. With that, the bugbear takes its turn. Wounded, it wasn't sure who hit it, so it's only going to do what its small mind tells it to do keep hitting the tiny lizard. Small mind? Well, he doesn't do that very well. Lazar, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to move in front of this. Oh, why it's not working? I think I lost everybody. Hello? Oh, 
It says I'm streaming. Hi guys, it's just me today. So it's not connected. Hey, now it's starting to work. Somebody healed somebody, which is good. Let me reset. That way you guys can hear everybody. God, this thing is so slow. Come on, let me get back in there. There we go. There it goes. Out of the center point and then two squares out on each side. You're right, it's a 10 foot radius. Radius. What I miss? Murder. I'm good with I'm yeah. good with murder. Let's see, ten foot radius. Radius, yeah. Radius. Because it's also technically a sphere. Yeah. But spheres are complicated. Shapes are complicated. I skipped right. elementary school. Can you go back to wearing all black? Yeah. So we'll say it hits yeah. all those. Okay, roll your damage. You guys needed an extra room for her, uh, for her music. Her singing. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you guys needed one more room. Oh, let me let me fix this thing. Hold on. Okay. So as you kill three goblins and fall one of the bugbears, um, your turn ends, and it becomes. Bugbear B's turn. On an odd, he's going to realize it's the hand that casted that spell. He rolled an odd. And he's going to swing at the hand. That might be a little better. There's a hole. For the crazy shit it just did. I'll catch him when he goes flying. Nope. It did not do anything to the hand. Nice. This hand be very tanky. It's, it's hiding in the turban, my pants turban. <laughs> With that, the Revenant has now taken its turn, and you actually see the little place that he seemed to have taken damage from before close up as he heals. Nice. As he flies at this bugbear, making his swing against it. You mean his, his punchy punch? Yeah. Doesn't land either of the two hits, though. Wow. It's the first time he's missed. Maybe it was a, he's not used to regeneration. Bugbear B. D is now getting confused as hell and is going to just walk up. And it saw someone spit lightning. So it has to figure that this guy's bad news. No, I'm okay. But swings at Nazar are doing no damage. <laughs> in his confusion. 
The bugbear is also going to try to swing at the revenant. And whereas he does land a hit, it's superficial damage. You don't have a magic weapon. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> this goblin's going to grunt and hide in the corner. Whereas these two are going to start to panic. These three are going to start to panic. Okay, Ginnander, it's your turn. Guys, we are doing fine. This was a good idea. Well, now we got the right. crown, so there's that. I want to become the true Ginnendorf. <laughs> Ginnendorf, I always knew I was. Well, you need your true self. Minotaur. <laughs> I need to find my true self. <laughs> I'm not a minotaur, I'm a pig. <laughs> a pig, I'm gonna, it's your turn. Uh, use Firebolt. Firebolt. On this guy. Well, on the, the not so tall guy. On the not so tall, the tall. Yeah, Jareth, the not so tall. Yeah, that guy. It does not land though. He wasn't tall enough. Rule. Yeah. I hate, I hate that I can't do dice cleanse on roll twenty. You can't do dice what? Dice cleanse. <laughs> <laughs> My dice cleanse. <laughs> the goblin boss is going to continue. Trying to smack down on the uh, kobold. He is just seeing red. Oh my god. <laughs> While not landing any of the attacks. You're welcome. Because you're short. You're welcome. X, your turn. Um. You got extra big dick energy. <laughs> you got I... double the big dick energy. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, I'm going to. Alright, buddy. Alright, so if I put. If I did shatter. Here. Why don't you just play Reinhardt? <laughs> I can hit both of them, right? Yes, you will hit. You're talking about. Will you hit this goblin and these two? Yeah. Yes, you will. But I'll hit Zugby too, right? Yes, you will. And me. All right, yep, I probably will. should. I guess I shouldn't do that. And probably smart. I'll do that. Uh, that will hit. Any well, that'll only hit one of them. That's boring. All right, I'm just gonna use my hand, my fist, and punch him. I'm just gonna punch him. Okay. I don't remember how to do this though. Hold Just up. do an attack. I know. But I'm, I'm, I'm on the spell tab. I have to find the other tab to. <laughs> the action tab? This is so complicated. <laughs> There's so, so many tabs. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. And this is like the easiest system. Wait, I think I did it. I think I did it twice. I don't know what I did. You did the damage. You didn't roll a chance to hit. What? Oh my god. So, so... Okay, wait. I got this. Derek, stop talking to me. I got this. <laughs> I need to learn. Your rocket punch missed. Of course it did. You tried to. I'm not used to being so tall. I shot like right over him. Yeah, exactly. You're used to like being able to just swing and hit people no matter what. So you just did a right hook and it goes right over his head. Whoops. It's because you're short. Oh, he's fuming now. <laughs> okay, rule. It's your turn. Uh, I'm going to move right next to Maybe, that, maybe that'll work. No, I can see you and no one else. It, it, yeah, I think it's I think it's uh, roll twenty because I, I, you're the only one I can see now or hear. We're in an alternate dimension. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Well, I had to go like every time I would come in, I could hear you guys for like a second or two, and then everything would freeze again. All right, no. Now I'm in an intermediary. I can hear everyone, but I can only see you. <laughs> I'm a median. I can speak to Nags from beyond the grave. Yep, that's all you get. The funny thing is that everything that was happening on the screen was still happening. They miss you greatly and would like you to return to the other I'm, side. I'm trying. I don't know what else to do. He says he's trying, but he does not understand the path forward. 
I'm going to reset the player avatar location one more time. Run away from the light. The light is not good. <laughs> Alright, I'm reloading the page. Yeah, that's a good idea. That will lose you, too. Now I can see all you guys. Oh. Can you hear us? Yes. Nice. Then you can hear us, too. Good. We fixed it. You're back. I hope you guys are back for good, because every time... We all died while you were gone. That sucks. All of us, including you. Well, now now I think you're the only one that I can hear. Well, nobody can hear Zugby, apparently. Nobody else is talking. Okay, I can hear you. That's good. Empress is froze on my screen. Yeah, mine. No, nope. she's not froze. She just I didn't just move. Haven't moved. She no, just I didn't move. That's amazing. That actually was very impressive. <laughs> ah, I found my secret superpower. Yeah, I like... am Drex. I don't. I can hold really still. Yeah, once once the cat reset everything, it wouldn't let me come back in at all. <laughs> for like, I was telling Torbor, it would only let me in for like. 30 seconds and then you guys would just go quiet I'm i like, think we've learned a valuable valuable lesson Get don't fuck cats. with cats you and gamma <laughs> don't He's let been... your cats in the room with the computer yeah shut the shut the door i did Leave cats That's... outside we just saw torvor for a hot second do i exist yes i think everybody can hear everybody except for gamma So I had to exit out of Firefox two or three times. Then I had to manually reset it in the settings to get it to work. So if anybody's having a problem besides me, that's what you need to do. There, I can see your head. Well, the cat is very attentive to what's going on. <laughs> it seems like all the cats are trying to fuck us up. I just want to be involved this evening. Cat D&D. &D. I would totally right, do it. Cat and D. Yep. Cat and D. Don't bite All right. Don't bite daddy. So with that, it's Bugbear B's turn. Who is still weirded out by this freaky hand and going to step towards him. All right. Is there only two bugbears left? Yep. Cool. And he's gonna step towards the hand. You see the wave, uh, uh, the hand waving. <laughs> and he's gonna stab at it with his javelin. Seems a little overkill. <laughs> but, uh, he's just like, it's like when you see someone trying to stab fish in a barrel but fail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You okay there, buddy? <laughs> it's the Revenant's turn. I'm just waiting for someone to do damage to me. Because yeah. I will quit. The bugbear again. Dealing 11 points of damage. Demolish. Injuring the bugbear. Bugbear B ties to run away, now terrified. But gets hit in the back of the head by the Revenant <laughs> for 13 points of damage, downing him. Nice. He turns the run and gets rabbit punched and knocked to the ground. <laughs> That's what you get. The uh, goblin guards outside have started whistling to themselves, like, nothing's going on, and returning to their posts. Yeah, I mean, this is normal goblin sound, so... <laughs> <laughs> I don't see anything, I don't hear anything, for the love of God, don't fucking kill me. <laughs> Gander, your turn. There's just one little dude over here. I'm gonna do a smack with my sword. I hope it doesn't fly out of my hand this time. 
That would be funny. Uh, there it is. Oh, boy! <laughs> Hell yeah. Roll your damage. So what do you mean to just be a little slice against him? <laughs> you end up putting, once again, not knowing your own strength, too much force behind it, and cleave off both of his legs. Oh, I thought it was going to be the headless anima. I wish I could say I'm sorry, but I'm not. <laughs> no, now I've got dinner. Where she goes for a little smack, it turns into a full-blown swing and removes him just shy of the family jewels. Oh. And with that, combat's over. He won't be able to use his family jewels anyways. This Ooh. seemed a little excessive for this crown. It's not even that comfortable. Um, well, so I how about ends up gonna use healing light on X. I look at X and I go, "Damn girl, <laughs> if I was attracted to women of the 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 yes. human kind, I would be hard up." I would be using my uh, big dick energy. On exactly. <laughs> I'm but, uncomfortable again. I'm going to take the crown <laughs> off. <laughs> no, no. Leave the, hear me out. Leave the crown on. You are now leader of the goblin peoples. I am. So, so you use... guys might want to consider trying to find some clothes. Because right now you're walking around works. with a naked woman wearing pants on her head. And they're sure undersized pants. Because they're for a kobold, not for a human female. Look. I don't want you to go back out there until we find you some clothes in this room. I guess. The dwarf right, was not naked. Try and put, and put his stuff on. Any? Wait, 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 wait. Just take, just take the head goblin's clothes. He was human before. Yeah, take his. Oh, sure. Okay, you now look like <laughs> you're dressed in gaudy, noble-ish attire from <laughs> about... Two, this this doesn't feel better. Two generations <laughs> past. You look like the female ver version of Scallion. Oh my gosh. Naked is fine. <laughs> For those of you who have been watching Critical Role, you look like the female Stop. Scallion now. I uh, I wouldn't try to eat anything as a human. That's that's a, that's good you advice. Can, humans can't eat. They can eat, but they can't eat rocks and trash and. There's so crappy. many rules to being a human. <laughs> 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 All right, I'll try. Just we can just I need it. it. We just need it for a little while. You are now king of the goblins, queen. Can I go out there and try to convince the co goblins that I am their new? We just killed half their friends. I think you can convince them anything you want. King. He's got a good point. So that's true. Should I go out, out and dance the for them? I, I you don't have to. to. Look around and see if they have to dance for you. On them. What? Okay. You do what penguin? I want to see if there's any valuables on some of the ones that we killed. All right. Who are you checking? I, I, I fucking know. Um, <laughs> they're all gone, so I don't know what. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> I mean, are you checking? The bugbears, are you checking? Uh, I was checking the goblins. The, oh, yeah, I, can I check the goblin the, king? The, like one or so two all near all the goblin king. So I can take all his apples? You find six apples. Yes. And 25 silver pieces. Nice. Oh, okay. I guess that's okay. And examining the first goblin you kill, he does not have anything on him. He did say first. Uh, but you do notice the bugbears have a pouch on them. Are you going to go around and collect them? Yes. All right. Each bugbear has 15 gold pieces on them, bringing you to a Damn. total of 60 gold pieces from Damn. them and 25 silver pieces from the, the not-so-tall and the circlet. Uh, I go up to the revenant and I say, oh. Hey... Your boyfriend's dead. You go up to who and say that? The Revenant. I know, I killed him. Oh, he points just... to him and says he deserves worse. Uh, okay, it... well, give me a perception check. 
This is that's what I was looking for. There it goes. Sorry, I didn't mean you to do it. You notice that he is a withered husk. Uh, there's like nothing in there. Are Almost. you searching the body? I would like to. Yeah. Okay, I, oh, cool. I want to ask the I want to ask the dead guy if he would like to search it with me. I'm not no, trying I to. Don't, I only care for his life. Okay, cool. I just want to make sure. Did I pick up that circlet, or did somebody else get that? That's the one that's on X. Okay, so I just got. I picked up the pouches, the gold and silver. Uh, she got the twenty-five silver, and you got the sixty gold. Okay, give me a second perception check with advantage, K roll. Uh, that's uh, shift, right? Yes. As you flip the body over, you notice a small piece of paper sticking out from between his butt cheeks. <laughs> uh, I pick it up and read it if I can. All right. You notice that it is a map. <laughs> Apparently the oh. dwarf has hidden a map. Actually, I would like to lower. smell this map first. Give me a constitution check. <laughs> Well, back on X. you sniff it and you start to. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, hey guys, I found the shit map. Not shit. So map. As you do, we shit. a shit map. Shit. Map. As you open up the map, you look and see that it's written that it says it's a map of the Sargoth level, which is supposed to be the next portal down. Okay. I'm going to roll this back up. And... Uh, I want to, Welsh. I really do. And as soon as X gets tired of wearing it, I'll, I'll put it on. <laughs> <laughs> um, when I get hungry, here. it will come off. <laughs> is somebody in Twitch telling you to steal it? I no, he's he's DMing me and he's all like, please put the crown on so we can see what happens. And I'm like, I'd love to, but I can't take it from someone who's wearing it. Well, X was able to take it from somebody who was wearing I mean, it. You can. <laughs> but I don't want to, because I think you guys are my friends. Aw. Okay. So sweet. Alright, I'm gonna so keep the map. That, what are you guys doing? I'm gonna keep the map. Um, I need some of the bugbear. Uh, I'm gonna walk out to this goblin's like so. The goblin is shaking and trying to avoid eye contact. I'm gonna walk out too. To uh, my people. Okay, after they walk <laughs> out. To my people. After they walk out, uh, I want to I want to search the room for any hidden compartments because I know that dwarf had more on him. Okay, give a perception check. What was that the seventeen? Yes. Okay, I didn't hear it click. Uh, you did not notice anything hidden inside of this room. Okay. So that means it's probably somewhere else. Okay. Alright, my next move is to go out with them. And I'd like not. to go to each of these goblins and charge them for protection. <laughs> the goblin looks at you. Why would we want protection from you? We have the king. He did. Yeah. Good one. Like you could take the tall one. Uh, now I come. I come parading out with his head in my mouth. I want to see where this goes. Okay. The goblins haul ass out. <laughs> nice job. You just, just come with them. <laughs> you just see them all drop their stuff and go. Okay, that means we get all the shit that they had. I would like to search cool. for... Yeah, I want to search for some valuables. Anything magical. <laughs> you guys are welcome. <laughs> Good job. Uh, so I want to take... Not any... on, on the nub of his... I want to take... Yeah, the... I want to look for any magical items. There is nothing of value that they were selling. Um, Everything's low quality. Trunk You said somebody... What about some... Was it the potions? Can I look through them? You find the six bottles of liquid. Yeah, be um, careful with that. So they're just random bottles of liquid? 
there is it's called P O T O I O N Potum. I would like it. They're yellow it colored. <laughs> They're all pissed. Piss bottles. Bring it back the old joke. I'll pass. Right, guys, collect oh, all the food. I want to take some of the food and I want to go to Glom. Okay. Oh yeah, that the, the starving one. Glom, I offer you this food. We have destroyed Yak the Tall. There... Maybe you should uh maybe you should unchain him first. He he reaches out his hand for some of the food. He's like, oh, thank you, thank you. You see a little worm fall out of one of them as he's eating it. Uh, yeah, you look hungry there, buddy. Uh, I want to know. Extra protein. I want to know anything that you know, right now. He goes. Uh, I I know where. He, where he kept his stuff. I can help you. Okay. How is he chained up? So he's in a giblet. You know about like those uh bird cages. He's in a bird cage. He's is in a bird cage for yes, people. Is. I just want to make sure he doesn't run away. So he has a locked bird cage. So let me out and I'll show you where his stuff is. Alright. I'm gonna Can I unlock it. Alright, uh I mean I have thieves tools. So. Yeah, so that would be a um dexterity check with thieves tools. Uh you just want me to hit dexterity? Let's see. Oh, I right. think it's a... is it that or sleight of hand? I don't know what it is. I think it's sleight of hand. It probably is sleight of hand. That makes sense. Well, I can do a sleight of hand. Okay. Yeah, let's see. What does sleight of hand say? Also, I want to see if there's any uh, jewelry around. I know it's probably going to be crap, but I want to see if there's any jewelry around. <laughs> we need to make our pig dainty. Er. Yes. Ganondorf wants to be bedazzled. <laughs> bedazzled. Okay, no, it says a dexterity check is what it is. So do a, a dexterity check. You are unable to get it open. Uh, can, I, can, I try and, can I try and break the cage? Yes, you can. Give me a strength uh, uh, athletics check. Uh, I just kind of want to, like, pry it open. Here. Give me an athletics check. Boo. Nope. What if I help him? Strength check. Hold on. I get one side, he gets the other side. Okay, give me both of you. Give me a strength check. All right, hold, no, hold on. I go, all right. Let me try this again. I'm going to make my hands slippery from spit. Yeah. <laughs> so, Squid tries to pull, but ends up losing his grip, and it ends up just swinging towards K. Roll. Oops. The goblin is holding on for dear life as the cage is shaking back and forth now. I go, hey, why don't you try and do, try to Steve's. Uh, 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 hey, X, aren't you good at sleight of handing? <laughs> hey, how about this? Hey, Glom, do you know who has the key? No, I think they broke it. He points, and you can see that there's like the key handle pointing uh, on the ground. So I think that's why they didn't let me out. Well, that sucks. Right, well, let me... It's things like a strength check and a lock picking check you can do again if I don't tell you it breaks. All right, um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna let me try and break it. The, oh, pry it open again. Okay, give me another athletics. And with that, after you guys' attempts, you are able to pull the cage open, breaking it at the hinges. There you go. It jumps out and all. You're the strongest goblin I've ever met. Lizard. Lizard. We're lizards? No, I am. <gasps> okay, <laughs> follow me. And he starts proudly walking with you guys, checking back to make sure you're following him. Uh, before we go any further, I want to do a perception check. Okay. I want to make sure he's telling the truth. That would be an insight. insight. Okay, well then I want to do that. You believe so. All right. Okay. Do, do, do. As he's walking proudly towards here, he looks at the guard and just nods. 
and goes here with a little flourish and goes, Behold! His stuff! It's poop. It's poop. Okay. I'll his go up to the door. Stuff. Uh, I would like to uh, ask uh, Nezar or the dead guy to keep an eye on Glom until we go in there, if they wouldn't mind. I forgot to move the dead guy. Yeah. <laughs> And I go, All hey, right. I, I go, hey, dead guy. If if he tries to run away, you make you make sure he doesn't run away. Don't kill him. Just make sure he doesn't run away. You see him just float near Gollum as he starts to sweat. He's like, why would I lie to my saviors? I'm just hey. Remember, I'm your new king, so queen. Sure. We're, we're, I can be both. We're woke he here. He just looks at you really confused. He's like, is it the tall one? That came? I'm the tall one. Don't you see me? You don't look like a goblin. I'm the tall one. <laughs> I'm very confused. Are you? All right, I'm gonna. We're I'm all very we're all confused. very confused. Yes. All right. So what do you do with the door? Uh, I guess I just open it. Okay, you open the door. And I walk in. And as you step step into the room, the first thing you notice is a gruesome diorama with a stump court of a beholder. Uh, any of you guys are familiar with what a beholder is? Yep, I am. No. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I've heard the word before, but I can't picture it. So a, uh, a very poor oh. taxidermy of a beholder corpse. Well, shit. Surrounded by six goblins, all of them in battle poses adorned with jewelry. I go, hey, pig. Jewelry? I said, hey, pig, there's some jewelry in here. Zoom. <laughs> in the bottom corner, there is an ivory chessboard on a low stone tablet. And on the north wall, you can find a nine foot tall, but three foot tall wide painting of the tall one, depicting him in his regal human form, standing proudly with his golden circlets on his brow. Man, this guy was... And a hefty iron banded wooden chest with iron rings for handles. Uh, I want to go to the chest. Hey, I was going to go to the chest. Okay. Yeah, you got. You always go for the chest. I want to go for the chest for once. Where's the jewelry? <laughs> uh, it's right over here somewhere. There's like there's like six of them with, with stuff on it. All right, I would like to. Uh... Which was the beholder? That one should be in the middle, right? Yeah. Cool. I want its eye. Its <laughs> middle eye. Specifically the middle eye. <clears throat> I should you know. rip out that eye. It's intact, right? Yeah. Give me a dexterity check for how gentle you are. <laughs> oh, come on. No, don't do that to me. <laughs> I fucking swear. <laughs> it comes out, but it's got your teeth marks on it. You got a good I'll... grip. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess that's as good as you're gonna get it. I mean, as long you as could, it's not you could ask somebody with I'll you could it. ask somebody with fingers to do it. No, 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 no. Yeah. I'm a strong, independent piggy. <laughs> Definitely strong, so, independent in piggy. The, in the chest, when you open it up, you find two thousand. Silver pieces. Nice. Just a deep chest full of silver. Uh, well, unlike the rest of my companions, I go, hey guys, there's 2,000 silver pieces up here if we would like to share. And I don't uh, have pockets. I'm going to take Zugby's share. I want to spend that eventually. You I, just rem I go, hey man, pages. you just remember that I have it. Yeah, it's Squid, just give me it up. You have the... Um, you find the ivory chessboard there. Are you taking it, or what are you doing with it? Uh, I was going to like inspect it. I didn't know if it was something I can take. It looks like a nice ivory chessboard, something that you would find in a higher-end establishment. Oh, is it like something I can put in my bag or pocket, or is it like attached to the ground and huge? No, it's it's a large ivory chessboard. You guys might want to try to invest in a bag of holding. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, so everybody gets 333 silver pieces. Go ahead and put them in your pocket. You're welcome. 
Except for me, I get 666 because Zugby has no pockets. Four silver pieces, you said? 333 silver pieces. So can I take this chest? Have I be chest board? Oh, I'm confused. Mm, yes, but you can't fit it into your bag. So you oh. can carry it. No, that's fine. Okay. Uh, are the, the chest pieces nice? Like, I could sell them? You can try. You can uh, put those in your pocket. Yep, you can put the cheese chest pieces into your pockets by themselves. I will take the chest pieces. Just break okay. it up and put it in your pocket, and you can put it back together later. I'll take the ivory chest pieces. <laughs> okay, you put the ivory chest pieces into your bag. And... Can I, have you, can I you try and, me? like, tie it around my back or something? Sure. I got, I got, I still got 50 feet of hemp left. Okay. You Wait, can can't, can't we tie it onto the pig? Yeah. You guys can. It's just, you know, when it starts getting to some larger objects, it comes down to, this isn't a full out game. <laughs> I, I mean, I have, I can carry a lot of weight, so. The weight's not the problem. It's the If we put the crown on it, Baltimore. it'll turn into a woman. Oh, okay. <laughs> An ivory <laughs> woman. <laughs> <laughs> a couple chess pieces. I mean, you can sell the pieces. People can play on any board. <laughs> They're just pieces of ivory. So. Uh, yeah, let's try and put it on the back of the pig. Okay. Well, Ganondorf, yeah. have you been taking... Uh, what have you been doing with the jewelry that's on there? I was waiting to see what was on there. There's several rings. There's a bunch of necklaces. You see, like, a top hat. Mm, I know. I, I, want the fucking, I want the goddamn top hat. I want to be. Da- uh, I want to be dapper. A I want to be you dapper. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. <laughs> Roll a one d twenty. Hi, there's a monocle. Low, there's no monocle. You got it, buddy. I'll fucking roll that right now. Yes. Oh, you got a monocle. A monocle and top hat as two pieces of the fifteen jewelry that is located there. Uh, are there any specific? I only take crowns and circlets. There's there any no that? crowns. The only uh, what different... about rings? You said some about rings. Yes, there's quite a few rings. They look like the gaudy, like popsicle rings. Oh, they're not even like real gold or anything. This is all costume jewelry. I'll I'll put like two of the ring pops on. All right, you got two ring pops now on your character. <laughs> okay. So that besides the costume jewelry, the the ivory chest set, and the uh, the, the two thousand silver pieces. Yeah. Okay. So Which I guess. Is- Oh the 2,000 God. silver pieces is starting to weigh you down. I mean, it did take up an entire chest. Well, he divvied it up. 300 to each person. Correct. That's the only reason why you're able to carry it. Yep. Thus why I'm saying you might want to consider finding yourself something like a bag of holding. Maybe when we get back. When we, when we find the way out. Alright. How do you wish to proceed now? Uh, is there anything okay. else... You notice the guards just sitting there, pretending like they don't notice you. Is this a, is this a throne? Can I check this throne thing out? Up here? Yes, you can. What's up here? This is a throne that is draped with... Uh, Draped with animal skins and monster skulls, with trinkets twisted up in wire all over it. Trinkets, huh? Mm-hmm. Valuable trinkets? Mm-hmm. No. Oh, costing trinkets? You think of it kind of like how crows collect shiny things. Is it top hat? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, then there's nothing up there. Yep, there you go. I want you to know I didn't have to attune those. They're currently on my person. Fancy.
I'm walking down to check out this door all the way down here. I don't know what the other door is. Okay, you open up the door. Do you want to do any kind of a check? No. A little late. All right, door opens. <laughs> I mean, I only said I was walking down to the door. I never said anything about opening it, but it's open. Oh, I thought I'm... you said open. My bad. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll look around the corner. I'll walk down the hall. Down the hall. I am following cautiously behind. Yes, I had to make sure I spelled monocle right. Stand here. All With right. All directions. Kind of survey. Oh, second. I hear a cat in the hallway. Yeah, that's my cat. I hear it too. It's dangerous. Um, as you walk and reach this four-way intersection, you see shield dwarves. Uh, you see images that look like shield dwarves that walk. Walk. Magic causes the images to move. The dwarves roll and stack bar barrels, carve blocks of stones, drink from stone tankards, and so forth. As the ca uh, characters make their way down the hall, the dwarves wave at them and occasionally weep. These animated frescoes are uh, animated portraits are harmless. So think about the pictures in Hogwarts. You have uh, dwarves in their merriment like that. Cool, cool. Um... I don't know if everybody else is coming down this way, but let me go around the corner here. Looks like there's a little, yeah. Uh, I don't know if anybody had input on which way they wanted to go. I'm just kind of walking around. Um, I'm right behind you. Okay. As you walk towards here, you notice that the corridors are decorated with symbols of waters. Waters? The... Uh, do, 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 uh, symbols of water. Cool. I feel like we're being led to something here. We have dwarves and water. Okay. Uh, Pirate dwarves. <laughs> Mermaid dwarves. Whoa. Is that pudding? Yeah. Looks like pudding to me. I'm back away slowly. So, as you walk towards it, you notice... In looking into the room, in the middle of this 20-foot high room is a limestone altar topped with a mishappened mound of gold that looks like it was poured on the altar in molten form then left there to cool and harden. Along the wall, black mildew drops from lidless eyes and gaping mouths carved into the wall. Oh, what did I miss? Mildew? I don't think I want to mess with that room. Yeah, that, that means water. Hmm. Back out of that room. <laughs> All right. Shit. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> yeah. Nicely done. I guess I'll go this way. Carol, you can go in there if you want. <laughs> uh, well, I'm, I'm like the only one that can swim. I can breathe underwater. I'm good. I had nothing to do with water. I just didn't know what it was. I see you guys are trying to show me in. You guys are trying to throw me in there. Make me the bitch. I see how it is. Well, I mean, I can go in there and see if anything bites me, if you want. I mean, there's some watery mystery in there. I think we're no doing okay. Mystery. We're doing okay with treasures right now. Nobody's nobody's hurt too badly. So you want me to go in there or no? No, it's fine. Okay. The, the pig's all we dapper. We start weighing ourselves down and have to leave treasure in the hallway, and that's not so good. Yeah. I'm going to peek around the corner. Alright. What's your uh, passive perception? Mm. 1,000. <laughs> it's over 1,000! Uh, passive perception is 17. It's pretty high. Okay. As you look down here, you get a twingling that this hall looks too normal. Give me a perception check. Anyone that has a, a passive perception that's equal to or higher than his can make a perception check. Yep. What am I doing? Uh, if you have if 17 passive... passive go 15 ahead. 15 or higher, make a perception check. Fuck no. Mine's only 12. Mine's 11. Mine's 10. 
I'm not perceptive at all. Eleven. Man. Perception? Alright. Pretty much. There's a giant T. <laughs> T is for time to leave. Oh no, we're at double T. It's time for breakfast. Oh man, I just got hungry. Mr. T? I paid a fool to go down this hallway. Um, you notice... Uh, a pressure switch on the ground going forward. So as you follow it back, you notice that there's little dark holes that are located on the wall. It's like Indiana Jones. Ugh. All right. How do you wish to proceed? Can I jump over the pressure plate? Give me a athletics check. An acrobatics check, and yes. I'm going to slowly get off X and hop on top of Ganondorf. My, my, uh, okay, you successfully make it over that. I guess I have to do it for each one, huh? Mm-hmm. Okie dokie. Is anyone else following him? All right, you make it over. It's a brave amount of rolls here. Hey, uh, so do these make me just be able to jump over it like uh, with no problem, or do I have to make rolls still? <laughs> you can jump fine. You don't need a roll. Boink. Bye bye, fuckers. Boink. Oh. Bye bye, oh. fuckers. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Give me, let me, let me roll again. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Ooh. You make it. Yeah, you guys aware. thought that I forgot about my boots of mad hops. Man, how many of these plates are there? Alright. Do, do, um, do, 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 do. <laughs> as you make that final jump, Squid, make the jump. If you can. Whew. All right, you make it over, and roll for initiative. Oh, shit. Motherfucker. <laughs> wow. Don't worry, I got this. <laughs> My combined initiative is three. <laughs> Fuck me in the fucking face. That big dick energy Everyone. ain't going to initiative, I can tell you that much. Everyone can roll for initiative here. I'm not even near the plate. X, are you still naked? Yep. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. She's wearing the noble's this, uh, garb. Oh, that's right. She'll be back on in a minute. Technical difficulties. Move that zombie, take your turn. Alright, I go first, huh? Mm hmm. That's Are you gonna do 140 feet? Oof. Oof. Okay, okay. You could try to spring the trap. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, Zugby, uh, considering how short you are, it might shoot over you. You may not have enough pressure to pressure the pressure plate. Ooh. You know what? I'm willing to take that risk. Here we go. And now we're about to see uh, Zugby's third. So I <laughs> take a step there. on it. <laughs> All right, this Zugby's... isn't even his final form. As Zugby steps onto the pressure plate, let's see. This deserves the real dice. Oh, shit. Nothing happens. Don't forget, I only weigh half a pound. I know, you, you don't weigh enough. <laughs> Nothing happens. Cool, so I keep going. Take your full move. Yeah, I'm gonna bust out the real dice. Oh, yeah. And it's six. Yeah, Can you dash? Yeah. I don't want to dash. I'm in oh. range now. Oh, are you? Jeez. 
Yeah. Yeah, some of those spells have yeah, like... Yeah, Eldritch Blast is 120 feet. Damn. Yep, and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm targeting uh, this guy. Assuming that hits. That does Oof. not. <laughs> All right. I just noticed this, but okay, you hit. I'm guessing you're attacking the top bugbear. Uh, bottom. Oh, that bottom was bugbear. mine. My bad. Didn't mean to click that. Yeah, I was like, what is this? So, as you guys are approaching, the bugbears notice you guys at the same time that you notice them. Zugby fires off two Eldritch Blasts, while the bugbear goes, halt! How many eyes does Xanthar have? And then immediately gets blasted in the chest. <laughs> <with Elder Black. laughs> Literally that just man. the gatekeepers in there are like, I didn't sign up for this. No. It's like surprise. It's like surprise. Okay. <laughs> what the? We're definitely not paid enough. X, your turn. Hopefully this works long enough for me to have a turn. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, would be, you can come over to this mic. Uh, yeah, but then I, I have mean, to walk over can there. Share from one computer. Oh, then I have to go over there though. It's All right. So far away. <laughs> God. It is. Just roll oh, your character from your D twenty. Can you know use the D twenty thing on the phone to both share the same computer? That's true. I'll give you um... control of your character so you can both move it from over there. <laughs> Uh, I'm good for right now. I don't okay. want to go over there. It's so far I, away. I can see you guys doing this. You throw it on your TV and you just like play the game from your phones on the TV. That would be amazing. <laughs> that was my plan for the future. I was going to surprise her. Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay. I have I have a, this thing. So can I move and then use that to jump over the thing? Does it have a charges, or you can just do it at will? While wearing the ring, you can cast the jump spell from it as a bonus action at will. You don't need a roll. Okay. I mean, it makes. I agree, sense. Kat. It triples your jump <laughs> distance. Unless you guys like would roll a one, I can't see you not making it work with the jump spell. Okay. You know what I mean? But I can only, it's a bonus, so I can only do it once, though. I can't, like, Correct. start okay. leapfrogging over all of these things. Okay. If you want to try to jump more than one, you would have to give me a check. Right, okay. But if you just are doing, like, a little hop over, I won't make you roll. Okay, but this is this is a legal move, Correct. I think. Okay. I did it. Yeah, um, the bonus action at well. Will. Okay. Um... Let's see. I have things. I might not have things. I can locate an object. Yeah, why don't you locate a switch? Maybe turn off those uh, <laughs> pressure plates. Um, I am going to... I'm just going to wait here. I have no idea what I'm doing. I made it this far. You're doing good. You're doing good, kid. At least you're rolling better than me. <laughs> Is that the end of your turn? Torvor, yeah, did you, did you add turn. a purple penis left to, uh, uh, on your guy? I clicked the wrong thing, so yep, it exists now. <laughs> this is big dick energy. <laughs> Just, point, right. just pointing out. Squid, it is your turn. Look at it grow. Look Before at it I grow. Talk, I yell, I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what was the question you asked? Sorry, this asshole shot you with a fireball. <laughs> Where are we? Just, uh... He asked how many eyes does something have. How many eyes does Anthar have? Yep. And then he got shot in the chest. Wouldn't know the answer, so it's fine. Yeah, we're good. Ganondorf can flash the eyes she took from the thing. <laughs> I've got three. <laughs> uh, 
I guess I'm. Um, I can't. I can't get to him, so I'm just gonna have to shoot him. I'm just a level eighty nine. They turn the the guys the blue vest. Uh, I appreciate you adding balls. I'm just gonna good? shoot this guy right here, the fireball guy. The top from one. His dick. He's shooting uh, from his dick. No, I, I, the the bottom one's not dead, right? He took seven <laughs> points. Of Correct. The bottom one got hit, but not dead. Yeah, so I'm just gonna shoot him again. Yeah. Yeah. Your damage. And, um, I just hear someone talking about having booties for short. That's Aeon. Right. Apparently, someone's got the butt for damage. short. That's fine. I, he I don't looks know betrayed said. because he was just asking a question and now he's getting ambushed. So he's still alive? <laughs> I just asked the question. I just wanted to know where the milk was. <laughs> Nazar, it is your turn. <laughs> I also have that that ring. Okay. <laughs> Everyone currently How did everybody get this ring of jumping? It was a item, so it that sounds one seems really useful. cool. Oh my god! You it's like without the check. There goes like... the dangerous dungeon. The dangerous. Trap. <laughs> well, Don't worry, cool. I can still fuck up. Don't worry. The dick trap is right there. So we uh, were all prepared for this one thing. <laughs> everything else, no good. But this one. <laughs> I mean, normally, if you were to find stuff, you guys wouldn't have this many rings of jumping. I just needed to bring you all up to power somehow. <laughs> so they all the... got mad hops, but they can't hit for shit. <laughs> yeah, we went to the mad hops store. Give, a, give us this. It's okay. <laughs> I can't okay. do anything else, but I can do this. Hazard, what are you doing? I'm blasting some Eldritch at this. this so, anyways, guy. I started blasting. Okay. You hit with both. You should have played Danny DeVito. <laughs> and the bugbear. You know, he just looks like somebody who stepped into a firing range unintentionally. He gets hit by three Eldritch Blast and Arrow and just like boom, 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 boom. Hitting into the back wall and crumpling down. I, I look at the other bear guy guy goes, looks back and goes, "What the hell is wrong with you guys? You got questions too?" <laughs> he just points his spear and throws it at the closest person, which happens to be K. Roll. Twenty-three. Surprise attack works if you have not acted yet in combat. So you throw a javelin and then do morning star damage? What? You were correct. I rolled the wrong hit points of damage. I will correct that. What he actually threw was his morning star javelin? <laughs> That's an intense javelin right so there. It, for eight, it would fall before he even flew. Attack because... So it's the same thing as flat footed in Pathfinder. Remember the first round of action before you act? So if you had acted, he would not give us a surprise attack because he does not have the advantage bonus or any of these others. Exactly. So he hits you for 14 points of damage. With that, it is the Wraith's turn, who's just going to float over these traps. Ginnander, it is your turn. I gotta try for a sweet, sweet, sweet. Hey! Hey! Piggy hop, piggy hop. Dun, 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 dun. Close enough. Uh, if you want to do a dash and run over it again, you can make a second athletics. Ooh, you know, I'll do that. I did that. <laughs> I did that. I do my dash. Yeah, I do my dash. And you succeed. <gasps> Barely. Yes. Because he pointed him out, I'm only making the DC 10. If he hadn't have found them, it would have been like an 18. But because you had two I would become them. bacon. <laughs> right. I would have been sizzling. <laughs> They're not exactly a hard trap to see. 
if you know what you're looking for. Hmm. You're looking rather burnt today. So, is that the end of your turn? Yeah, that's my turn. All right, and with that, it is now K. Rule's turn. Yeah, you can't move over the trap. Does the trap count as one spot or two? It's two. Yeah, that's why I did. I wanted to move my last. The turn traps before. move! Holy shit! <laughs> ah. ah! Your javelin morning star? No, you should take his javelin out of you and throw it back at him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I will allow that. Oh my gosh. Just throw. It's the same as yeah, the javelin. <laughs> it comes with a level of intimidation, though. <laughs> you know what? If you hit him, I'll allow you an intimidation check afterwards. And you would hit. Nice. Dealing nine points of piercing damage and. Confusing him. <laughs> He's not exactly scared. He is impressed. Zugby, it is your turn. Okay. At least my uh, at least my One, attacks are hitting tonight. Even my initiatives now. Five, six. So I guess, am I on the edge of this one, or am I actually on this one? You don't trip the traps anyways. So yeah, yeah, I don't think it matters for you, buddy. Well, I'm always taking the force back from when I fire a spell. It might cause enough pressure for it to activate. That's why I ask. Spells don't have a pushback. Okay. No, it's man, not man, like you're firing a cannon. What if I want to? Alright, um... No, I haven't tried this one yet. I'm gonna do actually no. I'll do I'll do Edric's glass. Both miss. Okay. And then I'm gonna use my last two sorcery points to make a spell a bonus spell. And I'm going to do um dissonant whispers. Okay. Why can't someone just scream for once? Why is all, Why we gotta whisper? Because they're dissonant. being polite. We don't want to wake everybody up. <laughs> Think polite about rooting your. And he saves. <laughs> he takes half damage. Yeah. All right. So you whispered in his ear, and then uh, after I threw his spear back at him. Hey, little mama, that we whispered, whispered in his ear, but he thinks it's kind of weird. I, all I say is the like the orc is now uncomfortable. I think you're sexy. It's like, did you know that orcs look beautiful in dresses? <laughs> is, is what is whispered. Rugby <laughs> just goes, I get the best hand job. What? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, no. <laughs> I mean, that was the theme of this evening, so it's fine. That is perfectly fine. I expect as many hand jokes as you can do. Cat, I already gave you catnip. That's why he's upset. <laughs> he just knocked over the catnip bottle for more. He's a little high. It's cool. Stone bastard. Okay, with that, it's X turn. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to jump again. Because I can. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Shut the hop. Because I motherfucking can. And then... Um, can I jump again with a... I gotta roll something. I guess yes, you can jump, jump with an athletics check. Okay. I'm gonna do that. Wait, athletics? Mm -hmm. Not acrobatics? Athletics are for jumps. Acrobatics are actually for more finesse styles. What if I want to jump with finesse? <laughs> I will allow it either because you can do a finesse jump or you can do a power jump. You know, think of it kind of like a pole vaulter versus a long jumper. 
Yeah, I was doing acrobatics checks. <laughs> okay, so I can do acrobatics? Yep. As long uh, so as you give me a good justification on why you would use one over the other, I will allow it. I would use it because I'm not an athlete, but I'm really nimble. So you're going kind of like trying to pretend a ninja going to dive over this with a roll. Absolutely. Okay. Did you watch the video? And you land beautifully. I did. As I always do. <laughs> it's good, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> how far? Wait, how do I do that distance thing? Found it. Oh. I don't know how far I moved. Is we'll it... just stop okay. you there. That sounds yeah. about right. That, that makes sense to me. All right, um, I'm gonna, cause I can. Oh wait, I have new things. I'm gonna do healing word for K. Rule. Thank you. Cause I can be great. useful now. Okay, healing word. Is he yeah. nine for that? Is it sixty or thirty for that? Sixty. Okay, cool. Yes. I did. I checked that first. <laughs> there are so many things I don't know your spells. <laughs> oh, I'll take that. There we go. I go, see, this is why I gave you armor last round. And that's my turn. You, not Zugby. Huh? <laughs> I said, this is why they saved her, not Zugby. <laughs> the right choice. <laughs> and with that, it is Squid's turn. Um, I saw this move right to here. I'll shoot him again. You know, you could hop on my back and I could do eagle over there. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Alright, and you hit. Eagle! Oh shit, I did that wrong. That's the wrong. I, I clearly did all that wrong. I did rapier, not, not shoot him. Are they both the same to uh, plus? Uh, the attack is different, but the, the hit point is one less. So it would have been a 17. So it would have still hit. So we'll just leave it there. So let me roll the actual damage. Yep. Alright, so you hit for nine points worth of damage. Yep. Which is the same as what your rapier would have been. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad we went through that. <laughs> I, I wanted to add, like, why did we roll for initiative when we got here if they just wanted to talk to us? Because it was the setting up for combat and talking thing. Because the people in the back didn't know. Oh, okay. It just... would have ended up happening is if the people in the front went first. Yeah. It was uh, allowing for you to talk to them. But because Nazar decided to shoot right off the bat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nazar, I was innocent on the first shot. You're correct. Zugby's decided to shoot off the bat. You know, it's kind of like when the scout comes up, finds something, and goes, hey, guys, look over. <gasps> oh, shit! Okay. Yeah, I, I was just wondering, so... But well, you do make a good point. Yeah, I would have like, I would have liked to not get hit in the fucking shoulder with a thing. Okay. Um, I'd always like to talk uh, him down. Yeah, I, I moved. I can't go over the, the trap at this point, so that's the next person's turn. I'm good. You can still move and do a uh, check if you want. You can hop on my well, back. I, used, I was where I was where K was, was, and I moved, and he was one short, so I don't think I can make it over the trap. Oh, fair I'm enough. Not. You're correct. My bad. Yeah. So you can hop on my back. With that, it is Nazar. All right, yeah, I'll, I'll hop on your back. There. If, if those, that's allowed. those, yeah, it, no, it says nothing is decreased. Or if I'm encumbered, so I can carry you with no problem. 
I meant it just. Uh, yeah. Well, it's it's up to it's up to Gamma off, but up, yeah. You're according to you, normally lose movement speed. I just meant, can I do that in my turn? I don't see why not. Okay. Then, I yeah, should I should back. be able to jump over there with no problem. You'll be able to jump just fine, but your movement speed's halved. That's fine. It'll be just enough to get over. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. <laughs> you know what I'm going to say. By then we just go you, back you, know, you know what I'm going to say, too. I know what you're going to say. <laughs> All right, Gamma, whose turn is it? It is Nazar's turn. Oh, okay. I will use my fancy ring to scamper ass across this one. God. I need to find a way to break rings. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll... In comes the Ring Crusher 5000. <laughs> oh, no. I'll fling some Eldritch Blasts at that poor guy. And you get a critical in the first one. Dealing 16 points of damage and taking his head off. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, fuck that guy's head. Asking questions like we're <laughs> answerers. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, well, that ends combat. Eagle, right. sweet eagle, <laughs> <of this>. eagle. <laughs> can we can we look over here for a? I'd like to look for a switch that maybe turns off these. these All right, give me a perception check. Good job, buddy. I was gonna do the same thing. Perception. Check. You find right in the wall. Right here, behind the one that was asking you a question, a little uh, handle. I'd like or to a lever. It. I'll pull the lever. You pull, pull the, the lever, lever crunk. And you hear click. Quick, right. someone test it. Somebody test it. Throw a rock on it or something. All right. You throw a rock and nothing happens. Well, well you guys can still just do your athletics check as you jump over it, but if you land on it, maybe it's off. Okay, I'll do I'll do an actual athletics check. And see what happens. Oh, that wasn't that bad. Really? That's a nice one. You, make you it. successfully jump over it. You only need a 10. You jump over it. You don't feel the pressure plate depressed. It's like something locked in place. Guys, go. I'm not depressed. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> good job for you, man. You guys What's are good to walk across. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna walk across this one. I'm hopping on top of Cable. That's probably smart. Yeah. So, you guys have to pass this and locked it away. Every time you stepped on one of those, it would have fired four darts that did 20 damage each. Ooh. <laughs> Glad we, uh... So and... A little, so an eighty damage burst. <clears throat> I'm glad we all had items of jumping. Do you see where I was like, this is massive <laughs> damaging hallway, and they just said "f u d m." Hey, I mean, I legit rolled jump over all of them. So yes, you did. All right, now here's the question: Considering the time that we're coming up on in ten thirty, the next section might be a bit long. Would you guys like to end here? Yeah, I'm cool with that. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Yeah. Sounds good. It's one of those things that the next section could take us 30 minutes, the next section could take us two hours. Oh, mm. yeah. Yeah, I definitely want to stop then. Should we camp out for a long rest? Are you guys wanting to take a long rest here in the dungeon? Uh, I don't know. If you, I don't really need to. I don't need to either. I'll just... I will let short you rest guys... would be nice. I would let you guys do a short rest. There you go. Sure. Like, you guys got a breather afterwards, which means you can roll your hit dice and Warlock to get back their spell slots. Yeah, that'd be good. Cool. Alright, so you spend one hit dice and you return five. One hit dice, you return seven. You guys are catching that. Back to I'm full good. power. Yeah. I'm good. Cool. Uh, what day do we want to do uh, next week? Tuesday, Wednesday. What works for everybody? I like I'm Tuesday. I'm fine with the, uh, this stage. 
I'm good for Tuesday next week if that's what you guys want to do. I'm good for Tuesday. Next yeah, week? Tuesday, Wednesday, whenever. Empress? Empress! I don't have my schedule for next week. Oh, okay. So what we'll just do is we'll do it. Empress, you'll let us know as soon as you get your uh, schedule. We'll do Tuesday or Wednesday, depending on what's free for you. How's that? Oh, wait. I do have my schedule. Sorry. I misread the date. Um, I, I can do Tuesday. Go. Cool. Or All right, so are we doing 7.30 or 8.30? I, I like the earlier start time. I like the earlier start time. Yeah, I, might, nice. I might pop in a few minutes late just because, you know, getting home and getting everything settled. But okay. 7.35, got it. Yeah. I won't be that late. I might be a few minutes. All right, okay. cool. 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 Well, good game, guys. Good job tonight, everybody. Don't forget yeah, the fun. don't forget the circle around. Everybody's actually in my big dick energy right now, except for Squid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you guys. Bye, guys. Good night. Good night.